What's going on everybody? Today we're in Disneyland and all month long they're going to be celebrating Star Wars for the month of May. They have all kinds of new stuff, new treats, new everything. Let's go check out what they have. I'm going to buy today. This is a little doggy toy. It's a little Grogu. Last time we got him a little plush. He plays with that a lot, but I think he should get a uh, dog toy this time. All right, over here in Tomorrowland, you can get a Grogu zipper. It's $32. You can open it up here and put your drink inside. Nice little souvenir. The little frog right here. Bounces. Not sure what that function is for, but I mean, it's there. Damn, damn hey, come on, bro. You just killed Grogu. You can't be trusted. I know. With, you can't be trusted with a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever have kids. All right, we're going into Galaxy's Edge. They have a bunch of new stuff. Let's go see what they have. Right now, during the month of May, you can get a special popcorn bucket, which is a droid. It is $24.69, and you can get it all throughout the Galaxy's Edge. Or I can get him either way. And then I got the receiver. Just be careful because he's on wheels. I don't want to like, slide oh, off or anything. Yeah. So we got the popcorn bucket. It's a uh, R2 unit. You open this guy up right here. Like that, right? On the inside is a switch. You turn this part on. His little lights come on. And then you get your popcorn. I'll make it fit. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. There you go. Something like that. There you go. Got a few things from Doc Gondor. So the biggest purchase I got so far is the Shadow Maw. The Shadow Maw lightsaber hilt. It's 30% off. So that was a good deal. I cannot pass on it. Good, good thing I already uh, brought my blade from home. So later at night, I'm gonna ignite it. All right. Here is the lightsaber hilt for Darth Maul. Uh, quick story. When I first bought it, uh, I had to exchange it for another one because I thought it was broken. The blade, it was flashing on and off, and every time I would clash it, it would just turn off altogether. So I had to go and exchange it. I exchanged it for this one, and it was doing the exact same thing. We didn't know what was going on. As it turns out, um, the batteries were no good for both of them. So you need to check if your batteries are good if you're gonna buy one of these legacy lightsabers you don't want to go home from wherever you're coming from um, i know a lot of people around the world they buy souvenirs like this and you don't want to you know come home to a faulty lightsaber so make sure that it is fully functional fully working everything the blade and the hilt and then they also have this new lightsaber stand it's inspired by the star wars fallen order stand it lights up and everything that's there and it has some weight on it too it's it's got some pretty good pretty good material right there and because i already got two sabi's workshop lightsabers with this connector right here you can attach both of them on each side and make a saber staff well think you'd want to be an apprentice bounty hunter well give it some thought thanks for the visit Hello, Wait, who's that? Who's that? Oh my god, it's Danny. Hold on, let's, let's look at your outfit. 
So you, like bought, you, you bought the Sith robe. Yep. And you bought this uh, tunic. Yep. How much was everything? Two sixty. Two sixty. Okay. Sixteen. Two sixteen. Oh, okay. You like it? Yes, sir. which on top has like these uh, purple and pink nerds. And then uh, you can also get this bread. This bread, um, it's inspired from the movie The Force Awakens when Rey gets that portion powdery stuff when she puts it on the water it puffs up into this bread right here. Apparently it's a butter croissant with the sugar stuffing on top of it. I'm gonna try this first. Here we go. So, here is the blue milk. How's that? Yeah, you know what? It's even better with the nerds, actually. Surprisingly enough, it goes really, really well with it. Yeah. What would you rate it out of like five? Out of five? Um, like a four and a half. Okay. That's really good. Ooh. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. So, you mentioned you mentioned this was a croissant. Mm -hmm. So it's a croissant. Not sure what. <laughs> croissant. 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 Yeah. Croissant. Let's be clear, it's a croissant. Croissant. That's pretty good. It's really soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. Like a good amount of uh, crunchiness on the outside. It's not too crunchy. It melts in your mouth when you bite into it too. The sugar on top, it, it balances it really, really well. Mm-hmm, yeah. Out of five. Out of five? About a four and a half. Four, yeah, four out of five. That's really good. Yeah, the drink, four and a half as well. When you put these two together, that's it's a perfect ten. match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? Um, I would rate it probably maybe three out of five. That? They don't like blue milk. Oh, okay. Alright, so Cass is gonna try the blue milk now with the nerds. It's okay. You think this is okay? Let's try this one. So how, do you, how do you like the bread? You like the bread much better? What would you rate it out of five? Really a five out of five? Nice, okay. So, this one yeah, you're not a big fan of the blue milk, but if you do like the blue milk, then maybe you'll like it with the nerds. So overall, um, I would say it's worth getting. Go out and get it. Try it. I will find him. Yes, sir. Excellent. You are an ally. Good. Better get back to that sightseeing. Enjoy the day. Wait. The first order may require your service. Are you prepared to join? Good. And you will not betray us. I thought not. Shut up, Jack. We know what you're doing. We have eyes on you. Are you a little short for that? No, sure. You're a little bold for a civilian. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, bro. <laughs> so, me and Cassidy are wearing matching Darth Vader uh, outfits and I think that's the biggest reason why they wanted to interact with us because they noticed that we're part of the First Order. The for, for, the, for the Order. For the Order. For the Order. Order. You're wearing Darth Vader? Empire. Yeah, Order them. Yeah. But they noticed that we're not with the Resistance. Exactly. So, so for $80 you get this uh, poncho from Return of the Jedi. It's a small slash medium. Comes with a little fanny pack. Be the colors we're standing on. 
Now knowing these colors will be vital to your interrogation, so it's in your best interest that you know your color and you know it well. Forget your color, or have already forgotten your color. Too bad, figure it out, I'm not going to tell you again. Is something funny? That's okay, I love jokes. No? One year joke? The resistance. Or the gray. Oh, Chad, what does that button do? What? Yeah, what does it do? <laughs> oh, whoa, as soon as I lit it, touched it. That was insane. You don't have clearance to do that. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Decapitated Grogu, dude. Come on. For a second time. No satellites on your head. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> this thing really hates me. I swear. And causing the scene was how you were going to try to escape. You're not doing a very good job of it. I was asking you, what are the satellites on your head? Your satellites on your head, what function do they serve? No function? <laughs> Did I not tell you to stand on red? <laughs> Sorry. Don't be sorry, be better. Okay. <laughs> Red and blue into the cell, find your color, stand on it. I'm glad to be getting rid of you guys. <laughs> and because it's Gret Night, we're forced to leave one hour early for all the Gret Night kids. So, I mean, we did just about everything we wanted to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, please. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.